everybody, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and this is your Matter Hackers Minute. If you like Matter Hackers Minute videos, please subscribe to our channel. If you don't know if you like Matter Hackers Minute videos, you can check out our last one right here. And you're watching one right now. Our hacker of the month is Rumella Bose, a dedicated public services librarian from Houston Community College. She came in hot with a passion for 3D printing and has really made an impact on how educators there incorporate 3D design and fabrication into their specific curriculum. Romella had previously worked with some MakerBots in her last Makerspace lab, so she had some experience helping students to create and manage their projects. She noticed that more and more students were curious about the technology but needed an introduction, while educators were willing to give it a try but had trouble connecting 3D printing to the curriculum that they knew they already had to teach. Romella launched Makerspace pop-ups at HCC in the fall of 2007. The goal was to have instructors incorporate 3D printing into meaningful assignments while demystifying a perceived difficult learning curve into something totally doable. The pop-up was an idea that grew from a lack of space in the library and the desire to construct an environment for creativity and innovation basically anywhere. They had an Ultimaker 2 Plus 3D printer on a media cart, which they took around campus to introduce the technology to more students, and it totally worked. 60 students showed up to use the 3D printer at the very first pop-up. In their first year, they were able to serve over 600 students. And after assessments showed positive feedback from students and faculty, they now have 3D printers in all nine of the campus libraries to provide more accessibility to the technology. As for connecting 3D printing to curriculum, Rumella shared a few success stories with us. One of the biology instructors was using construction paper, straws, and glue to teach cell components to students. That was fine for the one lesson, but the models weren't that accurate and they would inevitably break and need to be reassembled for each class. With a 3D printer, they were able to design and print more accurate and sustainable models out of sturdy materials, which help students to understand highly complex structures like membranes and amino acids. Meanwhile, the digital art department started incorporating 3D design of custom keychains into their curriculum. The Entrepreneur Club is using 3D printers to design better, marketable products like jewelry, and the fashion design majors are incorporating 3D printing into their garment designs and for fabricating accessories. The pop-up is also creating DNA models for a genetics instructor and printed a Windsor chair for an interior design student. Another way the library is making an impact is by offering monthly 3D printing workshops and by hiring student workers as 3D printing ambassadors. After initial student training, Rumella has observed the transfer of learning that takes place on a peer-to-peer -peer level and the positive impact on the community cannot be overstated. Overall, Rumella views access to 3D printing as a way to inspire students to look at careers in technology, and we here at Matter Hackers wholeheartedly agree. Rumella is Matter Hackers Hacker of the Month and will be receiving two free spools of Matter Hackers Pro Series PLA or ABS for her library. Do you have what it takes to be Hacker of the Month? Tell me about your 3D printing project in the comments below, and you just might be featured in an upcoming video. I'm Mara, and this has been your Matter Hackers Minute. Go be awesome. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, give us a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe for more useful and inspiring stories from the 3D printing community. You can also go to matterhackers.com to find the desktop machines and materials you need to bring your story to life.